I honestly don't think I've made a video with this much sarcasm in it in a very long time. Welcome hoarders, they're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5, and this Testing Tuesday, we're going to be testing the Volcar Ingot. Uh, yes, it's a garbage vehicle. Uh, yes, it's another video that I'm doing mainly because I want to get rid of this car and I already have it maxed out. Uh, it's not quick at all. Um, at all. Um, prior to this video, I had it maxed out other than armor and, uh, bulletproof tires. And I did that because I was like, hey, maybe it'll be faster when I mess around just driving in lobbies and stuff. But it's, I don't think that makes any difference at all. I just installed those things and it's still, it's just as slow. Um, it's probably a little slower now, though. Uh... I don't know what it's based on, so I'm not going to even worry about covering that. I don't worry about, uh, how, how can I put it? Like, off the top of my head knowledge, I don't know a lot of, like, wagons to begin with, other than, like, the Chevy Nomad, because, in my opinion, most of them aren't even, like, notable. They're just, they're not cars. They're just like garbage vehicles, in my mind. I don't really worry about those much, uh, or SUVs. Like, I know some SUVs, but I'm not that into them. I'm into, like, muscle cars, sports cars, uh, trucks, stuff like that. Um, but as far as performance on this, uh, slow top speed, slow acceleration. Um, I don't know if it's four-wheel drive it's only front-wheel drive okay well that's a new a new thing I, I don't think I've driven a front-wheel drive on a game in a while um, uh, hmm. handling's not bad being that it is front-wheel drive uh, there, this is such a bland vehicle, I really can't think of much to say about it. So I guess let's head on over to the test track and see what time we can get with this. I didn't realize till a second ago this is under the sedan category. I guess that makes sense because it's a piece of shit. I'm just kidding. I'm sure there's people out there that like these. I am just not into them. That's a lot of wheel spin off the start. And we're up to second gear. Third. <laughs> this is so... This is going to be like a 30 minute lap. Um, in all honesty, I was thinking about doing the uh, surfer van for this episode. But I decided not to because I was like, well... I want to use a vehicle that I'm going to get rid of when this is over. Um, and I am planning on keeping the Surfer because I want to recreate a garage that I used to have. Um, I used to have a garage over by the docks. It was like the first building I ever bought in the game. It was the pretty much the cheapest 10 car garage you could get. Um, and I had... I remember having the Picador, which was my first vehicle um, that I used on GTA. Like, you know how when you start up online, you can uh, have one vehicle when you don't have a house or anything? Well, I had the Picador, which I absolutely loved, and I, I sold it. I shouldn't have sold it. I don't know why I did, um, but I sold it. And now I have bought one. I get well, stole one again. Uh, but I haven't fixed it up yet how it was. I want to pretty much exactly recreate it, which it doesn't take much at all. 
uh, but I want to do that. And I used to have the Surfer van and the Bobcat XL, but I can't remember like any other vehicle. I think it was just mainly those three that I liked. <clears throat> Which is now possible to do all that again. I mean, it was never not possible, but I preferred other cars to those, so I ended up just selling those instead. This is a very boring lap. I don't even have to slow down for any of this. You just go. Like, it's like, le it's like riding a fucking bicycle. I mean, come on now. Gonna have to slow down there a tiny bit. This is gonna be a slow-ass lap. But the thing is, nobody expects this to do good. Um, I expect it to beat the half-track and maybe the rusty amperer. That's about it. The rusty and the clean amperer. I don't see it going faster than those because this is... This is like I'm about to fall asleep slow. Try to keep it on the inside of the yellow and it's definitely going to stay there because it's not going fast enough to stay on the outside. Okay, we did 3 minutes 6.121 seconds. I know that's going to be on the last two pages somewhere. Um, so let's head on over to leaderboard and see where we placed. On the test track, the Volcar Ingot did horrible. Um, it actually ended up doing slower than the Clean and the Rusty Amperer, which I thought was kind of odd um, because I I thought it would be faster than that. I'm not surprised that it was faster than the Half Track and the Regina because they're both terribly slow cars. Um, which, now that I think of it, I'm probably... No, I'm wrong. Never mind. I won't even say it because I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. Um, but to come in 114th place, it's literally, literally third to last out of over 100 and... No, it's a little over 116 different vehicles I've tested because some of the times are uh, equal to each other, so I just keep on the same number. But to be 114th? Eh, that's not that good. Uh, especially considering there's only 116. Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible vehicle, um, which is obviously one of the reasons why I'm selling it. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all there is there. Uh, so let's head on over to the drag track and see what we can get over there. I got a feeling we're going to do great on this one. I honestly don't think I've made a video with this much sarcasm in it in a very long time. Um, at least since the... What episode was that? The one with the Dundreary Regina, which is basically the exact same thing as this. A garbage vehicle that I wanted to get rid of, that I had maxed out. Don't even ask why. <laughs> like but console hoarder why do you have a shitty car that you put two hundred thousand dollars into well because i thought hey maybe if i put two hundred thousand dollars into it it might be quick well guess who was wrong me and across the line three days later what'd we get 35.804 seconds. I honestly don't know how quick that is, so let's head on over to leaderboard, see where we placed. In all honesty, I did not expect this at all. Um, I never would have dreamed that the Regina would have beaten the Volcar Ingot. The, the, that, I just could not comprehend that. How is an older version of basically the exact same vehicle faster. Uh, I mean, the Regina is rear-wheel drive. Maybe it... I, I don't understand. I really don't, because it, it does not make sense. Uh, like, the Regina being rear-wheel drive, um, so there's not as much weight over the wheels as the Ingot has being front-wheel drive, so it should have more traction and stuff. But apparently the Regina is not the slowest vehicle um, by far. 
Um, obviously, we knew that because of the half track, but I would say the only road legal vehicle. Um, so the Ingot is the slowest as of right now of all the vehicles I've tested, the slowest roadworthy vehicle that we have tested, which I that literally blows my mind. I can't believe that we found a vehicle slower than the Regina. I'm sure that the Surfer bus, uh, I don't remember, it's the BF Surfer, I don't know if there's anything else to add on to that, but that has to be the slowest vehicle. I can't imagine anything slower than that, um, which we will test that in the future sometime, I don't know when. Um, post in the comments down below a vehicle you'd like to see me test in the next episode of Testing Tuesday. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.